So we have an Athletics North rundown featuring not one, not two, but three world records. Coming down in three, two, one. So for the first time in the 13 year history of the Diamond League, three world records were broken at the same meet. Just a week after breaking the 1500 meter record, Faith Kipiegon shattered the 5,000 meter record. And this was the first time she ran that distance in eight years. Faith Kipiegon, what a performance. Oh, oh. It's a world record. Oh my goodness. She's done it again. Then you had Olympic and world silver medalist Lemetja Girma breaking a 19 year old world record in the 3,000 meter steeplechase. And finally, Jakob Ingebrigtsen set the first world record of his young career, running the fastest two miles in history. He actually broke a record that is older than he is. He's 22, and the record he broke stood for more than 25 years. Okay, not everything was a world record, but in the men's 100, we actually had a Marcel Jacobs sighting. The Olympic champ did not pull out of this one, but what he did do was struggle to a seventh place finish. Noah Lyles did anything but struggle, putting up a 997 to win the event. Now, as far as Canadians go, Marco Arope posted a season best time of 143.30 while placing second in the men's 800. Arope, is he going to hold on there? Oh, and Yoni maybe get it on the line. When Yoni came through. Alicia Newman finished inside for seventh in the pole vault. Sarah Mitten was ninth in the shot put. And in a non official mixed hammer throw event, Ethan Katzberg one with a toss of 77.93 meters, but it doesn't stop there. He also picked up a bronze medal at a World Athletics Continental Tour event in Poland. And at that same event, Cameron Rogers grabbed a silver medal in the hammer throw the day before turning 24 years old. Not a bad way to celebrate your birthday. And before we go, we have to show you this. Marissa Papakonstantinou, She's gonna be giving us insight into her life as an athlete through monthly social videos, starting with this one, where she gives us a glimpse as to what it's like to travel as a para-athlete. Have a look. Traveling light is definitely not an option for me, but I like to make sure that I have everything I need with my equipment while I'm on the road. Plus, I get a kick out of trying to squeeze into tiny European hotel elevators with all my things. I guess it really is about the journey and not the destination. And if you like that, there's gonna be much more to come as she preps for the World Para-Athletic Championships. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.